ओम शांति यह बाबा की सेवा के लिए नया चैनल चालू किया है इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें ओम शांति ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मार्च स्वीट लेटर ऑफ बाप दादा फॉर स्वीट स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेलिब्रेट अ मीटिंग विद द फादर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम प्योर बिकम ट्रू स्परिचुअल लवर्स स्वीट चिल्ड्रन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेलिब्रेट अ मीटिंग विद द फादर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम प्योर बिकम ट्रू स्परिचुअल लवर्स रिमेंबर नो वन बट द वन फादर क्वेश्चन वाई इज द स्टेटस ऑफ ब्राह्मण्स हु आर टू बिकम डी टीज इवन मोर एलिवेटेड देन द स्टेटस ऑफ डी टीज वाई इज द स्टेटस ऑफ ब्राह्मण्स हु आर टू बिकम डी टीज इवन मोर एलिवेटेड देन द स्टेटस ऑफ डी टीज आंसर एट प्रेजेंट ब्राह्मण्स आर ट्रू स्परिचुअल सोशल वर्कर्स ब्राह्मण्स आर ट्रू स्परिचुअल सोशल वर्कर्स दे गिव हुम एंड सोल्स इंजेक्शन ऑफ प्योरिटी एंड योगा एंड टेक द सिंकिंग बॉट ऑफ भारत अक्रॉस बाय फॉलोइंग श्रीमत एंड टेक द सिंकिंग बॉट ऑफ भारत अक्रॉस बाय फॉलोइंग श्रीमत दे मेक द पीपल ऑफ भारत हु आर रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ हेल इन टू रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ हैपन डी टीज डोंट डू सच सर्विस दे एक्सपीरियंस द रिवार्ड ऑफ द सर्विस डन एट दिस टाइम दैट इज वाई ब्राह्मण्स आर इवन मोर एलिवेटेड देन डी टीज सॉन्ग आवर पिलग्रिमेज इज यूनिक ओम शांति यू चिल्ड्रन हर्ड द सॉन्ग वी आर हुमेन बींग्स अ सोल इज कॉल्ड अ सोल एंड वेन इट इज इन अ बॉडी इट इज अ लिविंग बींग souls come from the supreme abode they come here and adopt bodies this is the field of action where we come to play our parts the father says i too have to play a part i have come to make impure ones pure at present not a single being in this impure world is pure then in the pure world there will not be a single impure beings the golden and silver ages are pure and the copper and iron ages are impure only the purifier father comes and gives all of you the teachings o souls you have now completed your parts of 84 births through bodies during that time you experienced happiness for half the time and sorrow for other half sorrow begins gradually at present you have a lot of sorrow there will be many more calamities to come all are corrupt at the present time no one has yoga with the father souls have forgotten themselves the father now sits here and gives the example of a lover and beloved a girl and boy don't know each other at all yet when they get engaged they become a lover and beloved that marriage is for wise they are said to be an impure lover and beloved there are also other lovers like laila and majnu etc who simply fall in love with each other's appearance they continue to look at each other but don't indulge in vice even while doing their work the beloved would appear in front of the other just as krishna used to appear in front of meera that one is the supreme father the supreme soul the beloved of whom all we souls are lovers everyone remember him everyone remembers him there are many lovers where as the beloved of all is one all human beings are lover of that one 
people perform devotion in order to meet god devotees are lover and god is the beloved how can there be a meeting how can there be a meeting so the beloved of everyone the supreme soul comes here he has now come and he says if you children want to meet me you must constantly remember me alone have yoga with me and become my lovers have yoga with me and become my lovers there is nothing but sorrow in the in this kingdom of ravan it now has to be destroyed i have come to make all of you pure this is your last birth therefore if you remember me your sins will be absolved you will then be liberated from the punishment of dharmraj the incorporeal father says my beloved children it is now the time of settlement each of you has a burden of sin on your head you must now become pure charitable souls only by having yoga will your sins be absolved and only then will you become pure charitable souls the father says you have been sinful souls for 63 births in the kingdom of ravan from impure souls you are now being made into pure charitable souls deities are pure and charitable souls sinful souls worship pure charitable souls this is now the last birth and everyone has to die so why should we not claim our inheritance why should we not become pure charitable souls the greatest sin is to indulge in vice vicious ones are called impure whereas viceless ones are called pure sanyasis too are impure and that is why in order to become pure they leave their households then when they become pure everyone bows down to them when they were impure no one would bow down to him there is no question of bowing down to anyone here the father gives shrimat to your children consider yourself to be souls we have come here to play our parts and we will then return with the father all physical pilgrimage now have to end you have to return home to the land of peace while people are on a pilgrimage they remain pure then as soon as they return home they become impure that is a physical pilgrimage for a temporary period you are now being taught the spiritual pilgrimage the father says by following my shrimat you will not become impure for half a cycle in the golden age radhe and krishna don't marry each other in order to become impure there they are pure children are born there through the power of yoga just as you become the masters of the world through the power of yoga children there are never devilish because maya does not exist there children they are only perform good actions and those actions are neutral here in the kingdom of ravan your actions become sinful this play is predestined so all of you brahma kumars and kumaris are brothers and sister and so you are grandchildren of shiv baba you receive your inheritance of the kingdom of heaven from the grandfather the father now comes and enables both males and females to have yoga with him he says he says why living in your households remain pure show such courage although you live together don't let the fire of lust ignite If you live together and remain pure in this way you will receive a very high status. So you have to become celibate like celibate like Bhishma Pitama. 
this requires effort people think that this is very difficult however only the father teaches you this method god shiva speaks krishna is not god he is a human being with divine virtues brahma vishnu and shankar are residents of the subtle regions the status of brahma is higher than that of vishnu just as the status of brahman is higher than that of deities because at this time you are spiritual social workers you give the souls of human beings the injection of purity and yoga only you make bharat into heaven at this time this is why there is greater praise of those who make it that although you become deities at the present time you are brahmans and do service as deities you will not do service there you will simply rule your service is to make bharat which is the residence of hell into the residence of heaven this is why it is said solutions to the mothers the shiv shakti army mamma is showing riding a loin but it is not like that you are loinous because you conquer the five vices you make bharat into heaven this is elevated service this is why there are many temples to the shaktis but there is only one main one it is shiv baba who gives you power all praise belongs to him then the name of those who become his helpers are also mentioned the pandav males are also called maharathis means elephant riders both males and females are needed this is the household path you must never adopt a vicious guru there is no benefit in adopting gurus who are householder if a householder that is an impure person meets an impure person he can never make him pure they call themselves flowers followers of the sanyasis but they don't become sanyasis themselves so that is a lie nowadays there is a lot of deceptions householders become gurus but they don't observe the discipline of purity here the father says become pure for only then can you be called the children you will not be able to receive the kingdom unless you become pure so you must definitely have yoga with the father then whomever you happen to believe in then whomever you happen to believe in for instance if you believe in guru nanak you will then go into his rigme only those who take these teachings and become pure at this time will go to heaven guru nanak cannot be called a deity deities exist in the golden age there is a lot of happiness there those of other religions don't know about the happiness of heaven only the people of bharat exist in heaven all the rest come later only those who are to become deities will become that at this time people worship the deities lakshmi and narayan and say that their religion is the hindu religion because they have become impure they have forgotten their religion and call themselves hindus however you belong to the dt religion so why do you call yourself hindus there is no such thing as the hindu religion it is because they have fallen there are very few who come here and take these teachings and then become dt's they are the ones who change from human being into deities even if they only take a little teaching they will go into the ordinary subjects 
by belonging to the father they will enter the rosary of victory so you now have to become spiritual lovers of the beloved in the golden age you will be physical lovers and in iron age too you are physical lovers now at the confluence age you have to become spiritual lovers of the one beloved the father says continue to remember me by indulging in vice you will receive 100 fold punishment if you fall you should write to baba baba i have dirted my face the father says children you now have to become beautiful children you now have to become beautiful krishna is called the sham sundar means ugly and beautiful that soul has become ugly at present then by sitting on the pyre of knowledge he will become beautiful and he will become beautiful for 21 births and he will then become ugly this is the predestined play of the ugly and beautiful one it takes a second to change from ugly to beautiful and half a cycle to change from beautiful to ugly you are ugly for half a cycle and beautiful for half a cycle the one beautiful traveler is shiv baba and all the brides are ugly he teaches you yoga in order to make you beautiful there is first class natural beauty in the golden age because even the five elements are sato pradhan your bodies there are beautiful here they have artificial beauty purity is very good many come to baba and make a promise of purity but some fail and others pass this is the godly mission this is the godly mission you have to salvage the sankan bharat ravan has sunk the boat of bharat and rama has come to take the boat across it is in your intellect that you will go to heaven and build palaces studded with diamond and jewels you will shed your bodies and become prince and princess only those who are baba's children will have these thoughts this is god's court god's family you sing you are the mother and father and we are your children and so this becomes a family god is the grandfather and brahma is the father and you are brothers and sisters you receive your inheritance of heaven from the grandfather you then lose it and baba comes to return it to you you now belong to the father in a practical way in order to claim your inheritance from him you are the children of brahma and grandchildren of shiv baba in a practical way so this is called god's gathering this is called god's gathering you can also call it god's family acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we spiritual children says namaste good morning to our sweetest spiritual father essence for dharna first you have to become completely pure that is beautiful by sitting on the pyre of knowledge purity is the number one beauty and so you must imbibe this beauty and claim the right to be called a child of the father second at this time of settlement remove the burden of sin that is on your head by having remembrance of the one father by having remembrance of the one father in order to become a pure charitable soul perform elevated actions today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessing may you be do service while being aware of your combined form and become an embodiment of success may you be do service while being aware of your combined form and become an embodiment of success just as a soul and a body are combined 
and the future vishnu form is combined in the same way the father and i soul are combined by doing service of one self and of all souls while being aware of this form while being aware of this form you will become an embodiment of success never say you were so busy doing service that the chart of your own stage became slack let it not be that you go somewhere to do service and when you come back you say that maya came that you had an off mood or were disturbed the way to expand service is to do the combined service of the self and everyone else slogan to be ignorant of limited desires is to be very wealthy to be ignorant of limited desire is to be very wealthy om shanti now invaluable elevated versions of mateshwari ji expansion of the incorporeal world and the corporeal world we now know from god himself that there is an incorporeal world and a corporeal world the incorporeal world is called brahmand that is the world of great element of light which is the place of residence of us souls and the supreme father the supreme soul god sends a soul from that incorporeal world to the corporeal world to play our part to play our part just as there is a tree of souls in brahmand in the same way there is a tree of souls with bodies in the corporeal world the example of non living tree is given of how the roots of the tree are underground of how the roots of the tree are underground in the same way the human world tree is called an inverted tree because the roots of human world are up above in the incorporeal world each religion has its own separate section there there is not any light of the sun or moon there but that world is itself of constant light and is extremely subtle compared to the physical elements the corporeal world consists of five elements sky wind fire water and earth earth is a physical element and water is more subtle than that even more subtle than that is fire then even more subtle is wind and then the earth even more subtle than these five element is the great element of light that is the incorporeal world beyond this physical world where we souls live egg shaped in the point form with our supreme father the supreme soul so this physical world is separate from brahmand so this physical world is separate from brahmand om shanti thank you baba